mother. So here I am. As you can see in this picture, the light is coming from the left. So my left will be lighter. So it's good to have that in mind. Now when you're painting shapes, remember we simplified when we were drawing, we were making shapes, right? We were drawing shapes. Simple shapes that we know from our primary years. Now when we paint those shapes, we have to kind of be aware of it. We have to follow their, the form so that way for painting a circle, we are going to be, a, our, our strokes are going to be a bit curvy. It's not going to be so straight. You want to follow that. You want to follow the flow of the shape when you're painting it. So as you can see, I'm leaving some of that black showing underneath, not covering the whole thing, and that will give it, create the different creases, the different, um, style, you know, the, the, the different values. You want to be able to add that. Now here, I'm not going to make it so light. I'm, I'm getting, picking up some brown and a little bit of black as well, because I want to add a little light to it, but not too much. And here as well. There you go. You can always go back. Like, let's say you cover too much of the black. You can come, you go back with some black if needed. Okay. This is supposed to be a fun process. It is forgiving. It's not. Not, nothing is really damaged if you are willing to fix it. Okay. So here we go. Starting to see some shape. I'm going to continue adding some lights again. More, especially on my left side. Where my light's coming from. But you see how a little bit of the roughness of the brush is leaving behind a little bit of, of texture. And also, I work also with the, the roughness of the canvas itself because the canvas is not that smooth, so you can play with that. You can play with some of the roughness of the canvas. Okay, just a little more. I'm going to go now to the ears. The ears here, they actually a little bit dark. in the middle and then the top where the light would be hitting. It's a bit lighter. I'm going to try to use some of that, the, that old round brush. Because I, I like the, that it has a little more points to it to help me out with this one. If the, the dog was hairy, very hairy, you know, long hair. And then I like, I would like this. It's nice and rough and actually gives it a nice, like, I can, I can pull it and then it makes nice long hairs. I'll, I'll eventually do another uh, video of a different kind of dog so you can see the different results. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of light as well because we can see some contrast in the ears right over here. I use my, as you can tell, I use it my, my easel as a, a palette. <laughs> I clean up my brush. I like to be free, not be bound too much to things so also wear something comfortable that if you do get dirty it's not going to stop the flow of your painting you want everything you want creativity you want the flow everything to work together now all right so we got you, you see some of the, the, the variations in the ears. Now I'm going to go with white because he does have some white in him. And right over here, I'm going to go with that white. 
and go right over that collar that I had added underneath and it will make my white not so flat because it will have another layer underneath. He actually has some some his neck is actually kind of droopy a little bit. So I'll try to create that. And then this little white section in his face. And the more you paint dogs and animals, you will see they have a lot of similarities. They have a lot of similarities. It's really unbelievable. It's amazing. Um, you get acquainted to that and then you'll eventually be able to paint all different kinds of animals. See, even the shape of this, I'm trying to, to simplify Simplify what I see. Don't try to tell you what it is by saying, oh, it's the, you know, it's the nose of a dog or whatever it is. No, say it's a circle. It's a semi-circle. It's a sphere. It, I mean, it's a, it's a cylinder or it's a square. It's a triangle, whatever it is. Talk to you like that, to yourself like that, and then you will simplify and kind of erase all the different distractions that you may see along the way. See, I hope that you are seeing that you can also do this. It's just a blend of colors and shapes. That's all it is. Can you see the dog? Are you still, are you, can you see it already? All right, so this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to now get my nice fine brush and I'm going to start adding detail. Okay, first and foremost, um, I see a little bit of a highlight right here on the ear, maybe a, a light kind of hitting on it, like a little spot. Not everywhere. And then I'm going to outline the shape of the eye here. It doesn't have to be white. So I'm doing a white now, but I'll probably go back to the color of the surrounding areas. And he's kind of squinting his eyes. I think there's a lot of light shining. So follow the shape, you know, so it wouldn't be uh, a very round eye. Okay, now the nose. The nose, I'm gonna let that dry, I'm not done with that. The nose, we have to add different contour. Okay, you don't want it to look like just a, a dark circle. Now I'm gonna, I'm thinking I'm seeing some light. So see how I'm kind of curving as I paint it? It's because the nose is round. And I'm leaving a little bit of a, that black a spot for the nostril and going down okay but you can always if it doesn't you can, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna retouch the nostril too so here usually what I've noticed a lot of dogs like right underneath the nostril there's always a little bit of a, um, a highlight where it will be a little bit lighter than the rest so you gonna notice that I'm not gonna say it every single time but most times you will see that and then sometimes right over here on the tip of the nose there's another little highlight something like that now i think it's well, his nose is a little too light so i'm going to go back with some black I'll reform the the nostril 
a little curly shape. And most of the time the nostril, I mean the nose right on the bottom here has a, a black line. It's, the, it's usually attached to the lip where it gives that division. I'm going to darken it just a little bit because I want the bottom to be light but not as light as the top. I'm just adding a, a little bit of a, a black. Not much. Sometimes you can use your fingers to pick up some paint. Your fingers are great tools that you can use when making art. I want to add a little bit of a curve to the nose. It's not just round, it has a little bit of a dent in the middle. Okay? Alright, I added that. A little bit of the lip here in the bottom of the mouth. Showing. And most of the time, you'll see some pores where the, the hairs are coming from. We have some little tiny hairs. So you see, I don't want to add too much to it. I can't see, it's, but I know it's there. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to go back to the eye. It's kind of hard to see what's going on. A little dark can't see all his eyeballs, okay, because he's squinting his eyes, right? Then it's a little circle here, and then pupil is going to be down there. Okay, it's a little bit all the same color. Let's add a little bit of definition. Not much, but something. See? Hope you can see it. See, so I added some, some light around his pupil on the iris and and now I have a little trick when painting eyes. Even though I may not see it on the picture, this is just a trick that I do most of my, my animals. I put a little dot, okay? So the light's coming from the left. I'm going to put a little dot on both sides, on both eyes, in the same location on both eyes, okay? Coming from the left. And then I just highlight like a curve, like a loom. I, I make like a, a comma on the opposite side of that dot. So since the light is coming from the left, so I'll be doing that little comma on the right side. And it just kind of gives it an, a, another dimension to the eye. Now in this picture, you can't really see his eyes too much, but I do have an artist uh, license that will make me, allow me to enhance some areas if I have to, without compromising really the, the look of the dog. Okay, um, let's see what else can I do here, because I, I, it looks pretty finished to me. Of course, you can always work more on it, but I want to make this nice and simple and easy so you can see that you can also do this and you can have fun surprising others. How about that? You're going to be loved. All right, let me see. Um, oh, one thing that I actually like to do. I'm just going to have a little bit of a highlight here. A little highlight there. So here is my painting, here is a picture, my reference, and here is my painting. Pretty similar, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, it was easy enough for you to follow the steps, um, how to paint a dog, and that you can do the same. Thank you so much for watching this video, and stay tuned for more to come.